Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for all being here. If you are here for the Avendano Kirchner wedding, you're at the right place. If you're here for something else, you're in for a big surprise. Um, it is a beautiful, sunny November day. It's a perfect day for us to unite. <laughs> So welcome to what will undoubtedly be the best wedding of 2013. Um, with, uh, that in mind, Sorry. It's your day. Um, let me invite everyone to briefly take a moment to think of all of the bounty that we have to be thankful for. Hopefully everyone was inspired as we saw the tears of joy coming down Cat and Eddie's face. And let me uh, encourage all of you to put your cell phones on silent as well, uh, especially if your ringtone is anything like, who let the dogs out, <laughs> or uh, anything like that. As we stand here today, surrounded by so many family and friends, and in the presence of so many people who know and love Kat and Eddie, we're also reminded of those who have been taken from us too soon. And uh, it is tradition at weddings when one of the parents of the bride or groom has been taken from us to perform a ceremony that shows that even though that person may not be here physically, uh, that person is here with us spiritually. And so I'd like to take a moment to think of all of the beauty and bounty that Kat's mom, Mirna, uh, has passed on both through Kat and her husband and to all of us here. And we have decided, Kat and Eddie have decided, to from a sand ceremony, shows the unity of the spirits and that what may uh, sometimes seem to be separate is really one integrated whole. And so I will walk to the back of the table and we all invite you to stand on that side and cat on that side. And while each of you um, pour the sand in together, it will remind all of us that even though Mirna uh, is not here with us physically, that we are inspired by her. And to everyone in the audience, uh, you'll see that as of right now, for one of the last moments ever, uh, this sand is separate, but it's about to be united. And so as it is poured in together, we see that all that has preceded Kat and all that has preceded Eddie is now united as one into a blend of Kat and Eddie love. <laughs> To those of you who don't know the love story of Pat and Eddie, let me adjust my mic so you can hear it and share with you the Cliff's Note version. Pat and Eddie had their first date at the El Torito Grill in Cyprus. <laughs> and to anyone who knows Pat, it won't surprise you that she was too nervous to eat, but not too nervous to drink margarita. <laughs> and so as the night went on, and as Kat 
drank margarita after margarita and had an empty stomach. Sometime by the end of the meal before dessert came, Kat noticed that her straw was actually in the salsa. And it's unknown how long she'd been drinking salsa. So, um, it is that, that spirit of joy that um, we can see on their faces that caused them to continue dating. And before long, they had gone to Vegas with a few of their friends. And the friends, after a short time in Vegas, looked around and Cat and Eddie were nowhere to be found. They had snuck up by themselves ditched all of their friends and spent a romantic weekend uh, in Vegas together. And at one point, uh, Eddie realized that Kat was unique because unlike anyone else that he had ever dated, Kat liked to put on his hats and his shirts and his pants and do the crip walk around the house and you know, just pretend to be a gangster. And uh, she does that at the office a lot, too. Um, um, in any event, um, Eddie was a bit slow on the uptake to, to get the signals that Kat was sending. And, you know, before long, it was Kat's 27th birthday. And uh, when Eddie found out what she wanted, she said, what I would like is for you to get down on an offended knee and ask me to marry you. And Eddie said, oh, really? <laughs> and uh, that is what he did. <laughs> <laughs> with, um, with that background in mind, the love that is present between them and between their friends and all of us here is so evident. And it should hopefully inspire all of us to remember what young true love can be and that it doesn't have to change it can be that way forever you know, everyone who is uh, happily married uh, as i am or who has a wonderful child as i do knows the wonderful things that can come from a union of this nature i've got one for the two <laughs> so uh while Cat's makeup is still on before these uh, tears wash it away. Let's uh, get to some vows. Um, Cat and Eddie made the momentous choice of asking me to write their vows for them. And as I thought through it, I tried to strike the appropriate balance of sincerity and love, but with a touch of humor out of him. And so, we'll start with Eddie. Eddie, do you promise to encourage Kat's unique and wonderful compassion? Yeah. Do you promise to nurture Kat's dreams? Yeah. Do you promise to help Kat shoulder all of life's challenges? Definitely. Do you promise to be Kat's partner in all things? Most importantly, do you promise to recognize that you are so getting the better end of this <laughs> <laughs> to support all of Eddie's ambitions. I do. Do you promise to always keep your heart a safe place for Eddie to retreat to? I do. Do you promise to be Eddie's partner in all things? Forever. And do you promise to always laugh with Eddie but not at Eddie? <laughs> I do. <laughs> Well, there you go. Um, I think that we are probably ready to move on to the next step. And I understand that you guys may have some rings to give each other. Okay. Now, often 
sometimes people will put the rings on each other simultaneously. Oftentimes they will do so one after another. I think that in the spirit of each of you bring the same kind of equality and energy to the ceremony that we should put them on together. And I will ask you to do it slowly and to repeat after me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I forgot. Okay. Okay. Hi. Hi. State your name. I have. <laughs> <laughs> I almost said that. <laughs> Give you this ring. Give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. As this ring encircles your finger. As this ring encircles your finger. May it remind you. May it remind you. That you are always surrounded. That you are always surrounded. By my enduring love. By my enduring love. And Kath and Patty, from the day that each of you entered into this world until this moment in time, you have been two separate individuals. But from this moment in time until the time each of you leave this world, you will be united as a single partnership. And so, by the power that the California legislature has chosen to vest me with, and as set forth in California Family Code Section 402, <laughs> I pronounce you husband and wife. For the record, you're a little bit too eager. Uh, from, from being slow on the uptake the first couple of years, I was really eager to pass now. Uh, but there is no rule against kissing twice. And so, uh, Eddie, Catherine, you may kiss. Before long, uh, we will be getting our dance on. But before we do that, I would like to invite all of you to welcome, for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Edward Kirshner. <laughs> 